those who were at the helm and those who were in charge of the whole process and to ensure that they put their weight where it had to be placed to dictate where it would go and what shape our country's constitution would take, once again, it was the Labour Party with Sasu Sagar Ram Ghulam at the head and Sabdur Razak Mohammed and the Bisun Doyal. So now, as grandson of late Sabdur Razak Mohammed, it is a humbling effect, in fact, to be able to hear in this August Assembly so many people, so many honorable members, speak so highly of Sir Abdul Razak Mohammed and his work. He has been qualified by some as being le père, the father of the best loser system. This has also, this debate, given me an opportunity to get to know late Sir Abdul Razak Mohammed even more. I was very young, only nine years old, almost ten when he passed away. And this debate has given me an opportunity to read and learn, but having listened to every one of you, you have helped me learn about my grandfather even more, and I thank you for that. So in each of those words that he spoke, in each of the footsteps that I have taken to discover the great man that this illustrious grandfather of mine was, I have discovered that at no time that he goes out there to defend only one community. He was out there to defend the minorities of Mauritius. He was out there to defend every single man and woman and child and citizen of this country when he was himself not born in Mauritius but was only a Mauritian by adoption. This shows loyalty not only to the cause but to the country that adopted him with open arms. This has given me an inkling as to what a champion he was, together, hand in hand, with the father of the nation, Sir Yusagar Ram Ghulam, how they worked miracles. Whatever Sir Yusagar Ram Ghulam may have decided, whatever Sir Abdul Razak Mohammed may have decided, whatever the honorable leader of the opposition may do with his wide experience, they all have done it for the good of this country. All of us have only one thing in mind, the good of the country. 1953, Sir Abdul Razak Mohammed now belongs to Rallye Mauritia, same party that later on becomes Parti Mauritia, that later on becomes the PMSD. He is and was one of the founding members of Rallye Mauritia, founding members of Parti Mauritia. And the time came when he was elected by one vote, behind him was Mr. Boudjouari. And Koenig asked that there be a recount. Imagine what was going through his mind when this recount was sought for. Imagine what was going through his mind when he said to himself, for the first time, a Muslim is going to be elected in what I can equate with national elections in those days. But no, Koenig asked for a recount. And after the recount, Lekar is more, and Sir Abdul Razak Mohammed is elected. A cartoon that is drawn by Krishna in Mauritius Times, September 14, 1956, where they describe the, the municipal elections of 1956, where once again, Sir Abdul Razak Mohammed and all the other Muslim candidates, no one are elected. But all those other candidates of Rally Mauritia, they are elected. And then, what is in this cartoon is the drawing of a goat at the bottom of a well. A goat with a little beard and a cap that represents Sir Abdul Razak Mohammed. I always thought, thought of him more of a bull than a goat, but then again. Uh, they showed him as this goat, and on his back, trying to get out of the well, was the fox that represented Kenik. So what exactly was Krishna saying to the Muslim electorate? What exactly was Krishna saying to Sir Abdul Razak Mohammed? Each and every time you are being used, 
Each and every time, people are using you to get themselves out of the political abyss. But they are forgetting you and there is no loyalty for your help. This was what basically were the words of Krishna. This is what was, being, was spoken to him. So finally, you have history is changed. And now you have the CAM is born. It is precisely because of such instinctive reactions, such as that of Honorable Jagnat, that I believe that it is about time that we come up with a law as soon as possible in order to be able to remove such base thoughts from out of the debate. This is what has to be done. Now, if I, the grandson of Sabdu Razak Mohammed, says so because I honestly believe that we should embark upon modernity, because this debate has taught me something. Through the research I've carried out, through the books I've read, through the papers I've seen, it has enabled me to know more of my country. It has enabled me to go down memory lane. I do not master history as the honorable leader of the opposition does. But the little that I do know, I am thankful to the honorable prime minister for giving me the opportunity to express myself in this August assembly and to be able to co con contribute once again to Mauritius embarking upon a new phase of its history. The Honorable Leader of the Opposition has so much experience, far more experience than I have, clearly. I can only dream of one day of having such an illustrious career as he has had. I can only dream. We have had our differences. But the fact is, I can still, I say it again, only dream that I'd have such a long career as his. Issues of this nature, we should never come up with politics. Never. Never. Look at me. Just like Honorable Béranger himself said, je ne me reconnais pas, I myself, je ne me reconnais pas. <laughs> but then again, sometimes one has to do it. I feel very close to Honorable Béranger nowadays. Oh, yes. You know how, how close I feel to him? Allow me. Huh? Allow me, allow me to, to have this little, this little, uh, I, it came to my mind. It came to my mind. I feel so close to him, sir, after 46 years. And I, I, say, I say it jokingly because I, I prefer to say it jokingly before because, because I don't want anyone to take anything wrongly. Uh, uh, 46 years of independence. 46 years of independence and I never thought after nine years in this August Assembly that I would feel so close and so intimate with Honorable Béranger. <laughs> after all, after all, he has told us what exactly he thinks of when he's in his shower and talking about constitutional issues even while having a shower. <laughs> so I, I thank him. I thank him for letting, letting, letting us have an entrevue uh, of, of what he does in his shower. But this is very important. And I believe that such issues, I don't, I don't mean the shower part, but I believe that the constitutional part is very important to be able to bridge the gap because there can be no gap that exists and should continue to exist between men of good faith. The best user system is not a monster. The best user system, I compare it to a mother who has managed to open its arms and take all communities in and hold this com the country together as one nation. Now it's time for this mother that has been the best user to, that has nurtured us during stability. And it is now time for us to fly with our own wings. Let me conclude by here referring to one of the most famous Indo-Pakistan poets, which was in fact one of the favorite poets of Sir Abdul Razak Muhammad. I say that and I already right away look at Mr. Speaker saying since you knew him personally and so well you already know 
most probably what I'm going to say. Allow me to, with your permission, sir, to quote, and I will translate it in English. This famous poet, Muhammad Iqbal, said, Muddagi laag bura chahe to kya hota hai? Muddagi laag bura chahe to kya hota hai? Wo hi hota hai jo manzoor huda hota hai. What happens when myriads of people wish you ill? Only that happens what Almighty God wants to happen. Thank you very much.